Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to another episode of Power of Force Fridays. Bringing you Han Solo in his Endor trench coat. There is an absolute strategic reason why I am reviewing this figure here today on this Friday. Um, because I do have the most recent one. And I also have recently just picked up the uh, the vintage Han Solo from Return of the Jedi, which I will review. And I do want to do some comparisons. So I thought, why not stick with the theme and roll out Han Solo in his trench coat? It's a cool look. It's a, um, I don't know, this is this is a good figure. I, I, I do dig this one a lot. And the obvious sort of slight inaccuracy here is that he's wearing the, uh, the blue pants that he wore in A New Hope. Whereas, come Return of the Jedi, he uh, switched out for some nice brown ones with the, with the, with the red stripes. Oh, they're brown with yellow. Yeah, brown with yellow, and then A New Hope it was blue with red. So we've got a little bit of a hybrid here of blue with yellow stripes. The old Corellian blood stripe, as they became known as. So yeah, this one, see so a little bit of blue tack under there. So this one would have been 1997. So yeah, sort of right, right bang in the middle. They started getting a little bit, a little bit further into the line. It's still, still that quite robust looking physique. And they hadn't quite gotten to the point where they'd slendered them down. And that was sort of getting a little bit closer to 98. Um, and would have been into the production time of, of the Phantom Menace figures. Um, that they sort of took down that sort of bulkiness. That ripped superhero vibe of the 90s. That marketing obviously told them <laughs> was what kids wanted to play with. Um... But, you know, I'd, you know, being a child of the 90s, you know, born in 87, just raised on Star Wars toys, Power of the Force in the 90s, um, didn't even, didn't even cross my mind that these guys were just super buff. Like, it just wasn't even a thing. Didn't even consider it. It wasn't until sort of adult, um, becoming an adult, late teens, sort of getting back into collecting again, and, um, was starting to focus on the collecting, having a disposable income to to buy all the stuff I wanted as a kid. Uh, it's not until sort of you start realizing, oh wow, they were they were really ripped. But you know, Han Solo always been a favorite of mine. I still think the Bespin Han Solo is my favorite look in terms of Han Solo's outfit. Don't know what it is. It's about that sort of that sort of dark navy blue jacket that he wears on on Cloud City. But I do like the trench coat, I like it. Obviously it's seen a lot of iterations over the years. This one being the most recent and prob probably due for an update. This is quite an old figure. We're not here to talk about this one. We are to talk about big blaster packing Han Solo. Let's get a close up look. From that angle, there's a little bit of Arnold Schwarzenegger there, isn't there? Well, he's got, it looks like, um, you know, Arnie when he's the Terminator, where he's got the big, big coat on. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. There's definitely some Arnold Schwarzenegger there. Got the old sort of swept across hair. <laughs> it's just like, that's just a really good angle. And that's funny. Get to the bunker. We got to shut down the shield generator. Get to the bunker right away. <laughs> Come with me if you want to fight the Empire. I don't know. That's all I've got. Not the best uh, impersonator of Arnold Schwarzenegger. But yeah, it's it's a cool figure. It's a, I like it. 
You know, I'm going to say in every, every week, I always say there's always going to be a soft spot for these Power of the Force figures. And uh, yeah, having having Han Solo here, it's, uh, it's a good one. I'm displaying him with uh, Luke and Leia. They also look good together. Yeah, I might get around to doing them at some point. But uh, there is Han Solo in his trench coat from 1997, Power of the Force. He has one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. Six. Two legs, one waist, one neck, two shoulders. Six points of articulation. Six POA. Yeah, that waist will turn. Get him doing some... I don't know. Get him doing some running action. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, any requests, please drop them in the comments below. Always looking for the next figure. I do have a list of what I'm doing next. But if anyone wants to jump the queue and put a request out, whether I've got it or not, that's yet to be seen. Um... I do have quite a quite a solid uh, Power of the Force collection, so please drop a comment. Let me know what you'd love to see. Any requests, anything like that, that'd be cool. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week for another episode of Power of the Force Friday. And we'll have some more content coming right up. Stay tuned. May the Force be with you, always.